Now let me tell you about the many ways Tesla got screwed. This guy was a true genius and yet he got screwed over time and time again. First of all, let's talk about his feud with Thomas Edison. Edison was like, oh, look at me, I invented the light bulb. And Tesla was like, that's nothing, I'm about to make alternating current mainstream. But did Edison care? Nope, he was too busy shopping for retired circus animals for his company's public demonstrations. You see, Edison was all about that DC power, which he invented and patented. But Tesla, oh Tesla, he was convinced that AC power was the way to go, especially for long distance transmission. And you know what happened? Edison was so threatened by Tesla's idea that he started a whole campaign to discredit AC power. He called it the War of Currents. And it was basically a PR nightmare. Edison's company General Electric went as far as to stage public demonstrations where they electrocuted animals using AC power. Talk about desperate measures. Now, nobody knows how many animals he fried, but it included cats, dogs, monkeys, and when things really got desperate, an elephant named Topsy was turned into barbecue. Poor Topsy. Well, at least all this work paid off because Edison helped create the electric chair and went as far as to suggest that his chair was more lethal using DC power. When that failed, personal attacks started. He publicly called Tesla's AC system a fraud and a waste. Not only that, but every single major scientific publication of the time took a stab at Tesla where almost all of them directly attacked AC power as dangerous. I bet you didn't know this one, but even Scientific American attacked Tesla's ideas as dangerous. But let's face it, Edison was fighting a losing battle, and his fear was apparent. I guess when you figured out how useless 99% of your business model is because of one dude with one invention that pretty much will destroy everything overnight, even I would be afraid. But being a creative genius is tricky, because while you're busting your ask, turning your idea into reality, Grifters always took advantage of his work. Tesla was constantly getting screwed over by people stealing his ideas and not give him credit for it. At Bleak Science Corporation, we believe that credit should be given where credit is due. Unless... If you are an eccentric genius inventor from another country. If that is the case, then screw the credit and his finances and investments and credibility and his name in the history books for that matter. You know Marconi? The guy who supposedly invented the radio? Well, guess what? Tesla actually filed a patent for the radio before Marconi did, but the US patent office screwed him over and gave the patent to Marconi instead. Let's just say that the way Marconi proved that his radio tower worked was kind of fishy. Like, some boat out of nowhere comes back and tells everyone, yeah, we totally heard something somewhere out there. One of the rare instances in science where, when you can either prove or disprove the claim, the support from wealthy investors and powerful politicians is the decisive trick. And let us not forget that Marconi radio would not have worked without Tesla coil and the Tesla oscillator. And what about JP Morgan? This dude funded Tesla's project for a while, but then got cold feet and pulled the funding, leaving Tesla high and dry. Well, let's be real on this one. It was Tesla's fault. Since he was always more concerned with research and development, kind of like the open source idea of our days, it was hard for banks to invest on beliefs that benefited the public for free. Because banks are all about, screw the people, how do I make money out of this? And let us not forget about the fact that Tesla was obsessed with pigeons. Yes, you heard me right. This dude used to feed pigeons in New York City and claimed to have special relationship with them. Well, maybe he was onto some new kind of wireless energy or something, who knows? But the point is, Tesla was a true genius who got screwed over time and time again. And even though the US government actively tried to erase him from American history books, it was the tinfoil hat-wearing conspiracy theorists that kept the spirit of Tesla alive. Even after his death, the government wasn't happy and a lot of his personal work just disappeared. But don't worry, my dear viewer, at the end of the day, 
sometimes science can be a little bit like a soap opera. There are rivalries, backstabbing, electrocutions, and plenty of drama. But instead of love triangles, it's all about how can I make his invention mine and profit? <laughs>